Hello guys, this is Akafalos coming at you again today. Oh, uh, well, and Jackson. <laughs> um, I'm coming at you today because I actually got another pretty exciting uh, tool haul um, for a pretty good price. And I wanted to just uh, share it with you and uh, maybe see if I can learn a little bit more about them if anybody knows what I got. And uh, well, yeah, we'll just get right into it. <clears throat> so what I got today was... A uh, collection of four different sized and different types of uh, cross cut sauce uh, for like tree felling and stuff like that. Um, and these things are uh, actually kind of getting a little hard to come by. Um, or, you know, like you could probably find them in like antique stores and stuff for uh, quite a bit of money. But what I found and what I got them for, I was pretty impressed with. So, um, without further ado, uh, I think I'll just start with the smallest one and then we'll go up and I'll show you what I got. So, <laughs> first one I got is, unfortunately I still have to clean up a lot of these because, uh, I mean, they are older and they have a little rust on them, you know, and uh, they uh, just need to be cleaned up a bit before I can really learn anything about them, but... Um, this one is one of the smallest one that I got. Um, now, a lot of these, there's only a couple that have handles, and um, those handles themselves are even broken. So I'm going to have to spend some time making some new handles for all of these guys. But uh, really not that big of a deal. That's kind of, um, especially for the price that I got them for, I'm pretty impressed with what I got. So a few handles really isn't that big of, uh, big of a concern. But, um, anyways, like I said, here's the smallest one. Um, about the size of what I guess you could call your, uh, like a large hand saw. Um, I actually have a tape measure right here. Let's go ahead and measure this guy out. Um, it looks like we are at about 36 inches. And for your cutting blade... Or, you know, at least as far as the teeth go, it's like about 34 and a half. So, um, you know, like I said, like a, uh, pretty much your larger types of handsaw, but, uh, you know, still definitely, um, definitely large, definitely does some work. Uh, I tried all of these out on various logs when I got back to the house today. And, uh, I mean, man, um, you know, being old and being dirty and beat up, but they sure cut like butter once they're in them. Uh, once they're in a tree and once they're in a log, so I think I, um, I'm going to have to spend some time researching exactly how to sharpen them, but they seem to be pretty sharp as they are right now, so um, I think we're doing just fine. But, um, so yeah, this guy's um, just a smaller one, and from the configuration of the handle holes, it just looks like, you know, your typical, just a typical kind of hack. So, uh, I'll see if I can give you a little bit of a better look at those teeth. Again, not not like like super duper sharp, but um, I mean sharp enough to I mean I could uh, throw a handle on there and use it right now. So um, yeah, I mean it's there. This guy seems pretty pretty good. So all right, moving on. The next one is. This cross cut saw um, it has one handle here, and from previous or from other models of saws and uh, hand saws that I've seen, um, I'm thinking this one would probably have another um, handle. It kind of, it kind of just, I mean, it's like a straight handle, but it looks like it can clamp on to various different parts of the saw, so you can like adjust it, and it would stick up, you know, stick up straight. That way, you can ideally have, you know, something. Like right here that you could hang on to while you're while you're sawing away, but um, other than that, yeah, I believe I want to say this one is a single person because there's no no holes for uh, you know another handle on the other side. So um, this one actually, uh, when I took it to a log when I got home today, uh, it actually cut through like very very well. Um, you can still see a little bit of the shavings right here, but uh, yeah, I mean reasonably sharp, reasonably. Uh, functional and uh, you know look again a little bit dirty but you know that's uh, you, uh, good luck finding any of these guys especially nowadays that 
aren't, uh, you know, just a little bit dirty. <laughs> so, um, let's take the tape measure. I've actually been kind of curious about this one just to see uh, exactly what it is. Um, so, first we'll just measure the spine, which looks to be about 53 inches. Um, and your cutting edge. Uh, looks about the same, but measuring uh, curves is all with a straight, uh, with a straight tape measure. I know I'm losing probably a couple inches of uh, blade there, but uh, still pretty large, pretty large, pretty long. Um, uh, when I was using it, I mean, you know, five to six passes with it had me you know, probably an inch, couple inches into the log. So, I mean, just easy to use, cut like butter. Um, Again, not like the sharpest thing in the world, um, but it did, it, did, did its job and it did its job well. Um, <clears throat> I'll go ahead and I'll show you these teeth real quick, just to give you an idea of what we got. This one, this one I do believe to be a two-person saw because there's uh, spots for handles on either side, and it's just—I uh, mean, I suppose one person. I, I mean, I probably might use it by myself at one point or another, but it definitely does seem to be uh, intended for two people to use. Um, there's one handle on this side that's definitely. Had it's uh, you know had some better days. So like I said, in all of these, I'm just gonna have to remake or you know get some new handles on there. But um, you know, still dirty. Um, Got to figure out a way how to get some of this rust off there so that hopefully I can um, maybe find an etched logo or inscription with the uh, manufacturer's information on it. That way I can learn a little bit more about these. But um, so let's see here. Go ahead and get a quick little measurement. So I'm gonna say that we, at least on the non live edge, uh, we're looking at about five feet. Um, which, yeah, I mean, it's definitely, it's uh, fairly long. Um, like I said, one person could probably manage it, but definitely, definitely seems like this was intended for two people. Um, again, uh, not the dullest thing, or not the dullest thing in the world, not the sharpest thing in the world, um, but it definitely seemed to cut, and cut pretty well, so I'm very impressed with that. Um, and, yeah, there's really, like I said, I'd like to be able to get her a little bit more cleaned up just so that I can see uh, some product information if I can find any, um, but here you go, I'll go ahead and I'll show you these teeth right here, uh, again, from, just from what I've seen and what I researched, it kind of just here, uh, run-of-the-mill crosscut saw, nothing, I mean, definitely special for, uh, you know, you, me, and everyone else that enjoys these kinds of tools, but, you know, nothing, nothing too fancy. Uh, All right, and on to the next and final one that I've got. This one. <laughs> First, let me say this thing is actually pretty heavy. Um, the blade itself is actually kind of thick. I don't know if I can actually read that on here, but, uh, yeah, this one's really not that great at measuring, uh, millimeters and all that, 
But, uh, I mean, definitely, it's, it, it's a lot thicker, and you can tell because uh, its length is... Uh, oh, again, it's five feet, um, and it's almost, I, I would say, maybe twice as thick as that other five foot saw that I was just showing you. Um, and, you know, <laughs> when you look at it like that, um, its width at its widest point is a little under eight inches. So there's quite a bit of metal here, even though kind of, you know, it, it looks thin and long and you know you kind of lose the perception of that but there's definitely a lot of metal here um, and what's interesting at least what's interesting to me is that this from looking at it there's no other holes for handles or anything um, besides this one side there's a hole up here and or a hole up here and there's a hole right here and there is a little uh, div you could probably see that but you know like a little uh, cut section in here that I'm uh, really, you know, I haven't researched it all that much yet. Um, I would imagine it's probably for some, uh, probably some kind of two-handed, two-handed handle, um, <laughs> but just in one handle, but for made for two hands, um, because this thing is, uh, I mean, it's it's massive. There's no way that I. Um, I mean, you know, maybe if you were uh, ripping law or you know ripping timber uh, or ripping lumber, you know, ripping boards and stuff, and you were just sawing straight down, maybe um, or something like that, you could probably use it with one hand. But um, I definitely that this one would be would be pretty tricky. Um, I'm even with two hands right now looking at it. It seems a it seems a little bit trippy. So. Um, you know, it's definitely got got an intimidation factor, but, um, so again, uh, and you know, not, not the sharpest thing in the world, definitely dirty, um, but sharp enough to cut, and, I mean, sharp enough, I had to be careful loading these up today, because, uh, I don't have any covers for them, I'm gonna have to get some, um, some sheaths made up somehow, um, just to cover it, because these things are actually, I almost cut my hand loading them in the car today, and, uh, that's kind of the last thing I want to happen uh, with the amount of rust that's on it so um, yeah I'm gonna here let me show you these teeth that I got or yeah so again you can see kind of just appears to be your standard uh, cross cut maybe some kind of milling saw um, again I'm gonna have to do a little more research but this thing I mean this thing is uh, it's it's pretty heavy. I'm gonna say. I mean, I don't know. It's um, a little weird to guess on, but I I kind of want to say ten pounds. Might not be ten pounds, but uh, you, you know, it, it's hefty. Um, you know, I'm a bigger guy, and I'm even finding myself, uh, you know, getting a little winded of carrying this thing, lifting it up, and doing all that stuff with it. So. Ooh. Anyways, so, get down here to you. So, this has been Akafalos again. Uh, just wanted to come at you with uh, this great collection of tools that I've managed to find today. Uh, oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you. So, we, uh, I was on, kind of like Craigslist, but it's on Facebook, you know, the marketplace. And I saw this last night, and the guy sold all four blades to me for $20. Um, now, granted, yes, that's, oh, well, hello. <laughs> granted, yes, that is, um, uh, you know, they don't have handles, and they're not, like, in, uh, you know, perfect, pristine condition. But, for what they are, and, you know, for those of us that, that look for these types of tools and can appreciate them, and, uh, you know, when we can see something like this and get really excited, uh, for $20, <laughs> I practically... Uh, I mean, I almost felt a little bad for the guy. Um, he was uh, he was just one that, um, you know, he just kind of finds things and, uh, you know, wants to get rid of them. So he's just trying to sell them out or sell them really quickly. Uh, but uh, I, I was just uh, I was just pretty impressed because, um, you know, from what I've seen and what I've heard from other people and the prices I've seen and heard, um, these things definitely don't come cheap. Um, 
So, yeah, but, um, anyways, yeah, I uh, won't keep you anymore, but anyways, this has been Alcafalos, and I uh, just wanted to show you my cool little holiday, and I uh, hope you have a good one. Thanks very much.